Hi, my name is Tom. I'm 43 years old. I had a stroke a year and a half ago exactly. It was the day before Halloween 2019 when I was 42 years old. I had been playing since I was 14. <clears throat> Prior to the stroke, I was a guitar teacher. Um, haven't been teaching since. I've been documenting my progress on YouTube, mostly to keep myself motivated, and I figured if it helps anybody else out there, um, that's also good. So just a little bit of background. Um, when I had my stroke, initially it was a blood clot. They tried clearing it with uh, heparin or something. And then while they're waiting for that to clear, I wound up having a second stroke. That was a brain bleed. So basically both sides of my body were affected, my right side and my left. The left side was much less affected. <clears throat> that came back um, within, I don't know, four weeks or so, I would think, of um, inpatient physical therapy. But my right side is, still has a severe deficit because um, I didn't actually get into physical therapy right away because I was actually on a uh, ventilator for about a month in critical care. So there was a big lag between when I actually had the stroke and when I got into physical therapy. So I'm still doing outpatient physical therapy. My left side is, well, my left side rather, 100% intact, no deficits at all. Uh, so my right side still has a long way to go. I've been making uh, these videos since like uh, June of 2020, basically to keep myself motivated. Been doing um, short videos of, like just strumming, so I can compare how I'm coming along with my strumming month to month. Just doing like um, single note stuff like um, scales and um, what do you call them? chromatic drills. And um, well, basically I'm just gonna demonstrate where I'm at right now. So, in terms of playing, like, if I have to play something simple, like uh, a basic song with simple strumming, you know, whether it's just downstrokes or maybe up and down strokes at like a not too fast tempo, I can, uh, you know, if you didn't know I had a stroke, you'd probably say, oh, he sounds okay, you know, so something like this. What you probably can't see is when I'm playing this arm is like severely um, tense because a lot of the playing trouble I have is my shoulder is still very weak it's gotten a lot stronger um, from therapy and it's still getting stronger very you know little by little but um so part of my problem is the main part is to keep my arm in the proper position I have to play like this I'm devoting like you know, 60% or more of my concentration into holding that arm in place, whereas previously, you know, you don't even think about it. Just hold your arm in position and go. And then also, I have a lot of tension in my hand. Like, left hand, no problem. Right hand, see my index finger kind of kicks up there. So I have to do stuff all the time, like um, squeeze my hand, your fingers in and out, kind of loosen it up, and then to get the pick, I can't just grab the pick off the table and manipulate it into place with the one hand. I have to put it with my left hand. I'm shaking because I'm drinking a lot of coffee right now. <laughs> but, um, so I, to get the pick in place, I have to kind of hold it like that. Um, so, like, stuff like, um, scales. See right there, I wasn't playing real fast or anything, and I already messed up because I'm constantly keeping this arm held in place, concentrating on holding it up. So like, essentially I can play, but I can't play, you know, I can't play in a band situation yet. Um, you know, I said I really can't play any, anything really more than, you know, simple, kind of strumming stuff. If I try to like, um, I'm playing something with chords and I have to throw a fill in, like, um, that's supposed to be Cat Stevens' Wild World. I'm supposed to throw that little, uh, scale run down in there. As you see, I messed it up, which is something I previously had no trouble with. Um, so, you know, 
if you've seen any of my other videos, you can see I'm progressing, but it's very slow. I said, I only notice it when it's month to month. Like, if I'm watching the video of myself from one day to the next, you know, I don't see any improvement because it's hard to tell. But if I see from one month to the next, then I can see an improvement. So, um, yeah, so, um, let's see. So I can say, do basic, you know, up and down strumming. That single note stuff. I'm not comfortable, not, I'm sort of nervous talking on camera too, so that's probably why I'm flubbing stuff more. But, um, so, um, I think stuff I completely can't do right now, um, pick slides. You know, it's just a little gimmicky kind of thing that's done in rock music or whatever, where you go with the right hand. I, can't even do that yet, because it's just like this the kind of you know little thing you kind of throw in the song, like just a little flourish or whatever. And I would need to be able to um, manipulate the pick into place to you know manipulate the pick you know on its own without assisting the left hand, because obviously it'd stop the flow of the song if you had to you know break and go like that. Um, if I'm say finger picking. If I have, like, if there's a song, let's say Stairway to Heaven, for instance, where, you, you know, I would hold the pick in my mouth with the finger picking part, when you get to the strumming part, I would grab it on my mouth like that without even thinking about it and manipulate it into place with the right hand. But since I can't do that right now, I would have to do my finger picking thing, grab it, take my left hand. So that's not something, you know, I can practically do in the sense of the song. And speaking of finger picking, that's coming along, but um, it's a lot further behind than any like picking and strumming stuff with the pick because um, my finger independence, or my therapist call it finger isolation, is you know nowhere near where it needs to be right now. Like, um, this hand. This one, like these three fingers kind of want to move together. As I mentioned before, the index finger kind of kicks back up and stuff. So if I try to do some basic finger picking, like uh, I'm just going to try thumb, index, middle, ring. I had to basically like rotate my hand to use the um, ring and middle fingers like to isolate them because I'm not really isolating them. I'm just trying to hit the individual strings with their appropriate fingers. And as you see, that index finger wants to hold itself up when I'm using those. So when I want to come back down with the index finger to get the G string, which I'm using it on, I have to like fight to get that index finger down. Um, what else? Um, before the, the stroke, I was into, um, you know, rock and metal. Um, I was into a lot of finger pick and stuff too, like uh, Jim Croce, James Taylor and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, in terms of, uh, let's see, what else? Stuff like um, palm muting, which is used a lot in, well, it's used in all kinds of guitar playing, but you know, especially rock and metal, where you wanna, you want to kind of chunk away on like a power chord or something and not have the strings completely ring out you after each time you hit it. You want to mute it with your right hand, the palm. And I have to concentrate super hard. As you see, you know, practically I could not, um, you know, utilize that in any, you know, song context or playing with a band or anything yet. Um, what else? Finger tapping. As you said, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
that's about as good as it gets for now. Um, so, trying to think of anything else. Looking at my notes down here. Um, oh yeah. Back in, up until December of last year, I was using a pillow and a couple pillows stacked under my arm to hold my arm up because it wasn't even strong enough to hold in the place. And since, uh, since January of this year, I've been making an effort to not have a pillow underneath it just because uh, that'll, over time, strengthen the, uh, the shoulder. And, you know, eventually it's going to be strong enough that I shouldn't have to concentrate on it anymore. But, um... And then also been making an effort to play less hunched over because previously, you know, I would just sit like this and this is how I play. Right now, though, my arm is like super, super tight because I'm trying to hold it in place and keep a, a good posture instead of staying hunched over like that. Um, and as you know, you know, if you play guitar, you know that tension is the enemy of smoothness and speed and fluidity and rhythm and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of hard to like be a good guitar player when you're, you know, your arm feels like it's got um, 20 pounds sitting on its shoulder and they're fighting it. Um, so anyway, I'm coming along. I'm going to get back to teaching. I, I don't know if it's going to matter of six months or two more years or anything. Um, but I said I am progressing little by little. Um, so I've done a lot of talking in this video, but uh, I'm going to try to just give an overall demonstration of what I'm capable of at this point. Like, uh... Yeah, I'll try to stay where it happens solo part of it at least <laughs> without distortion because I can't mute or anything but I could play that totally fine as many guitar players can. I could before the stroke, I could play that no problem the entire thing, you know. Um, and I don't know, let me just try like a basic uh, one four five power cork on a blues thing. So that's basically it. So left hand is fine. I can, I still got all the scales in my head and everything, all the knowledge, no deficit in the left hand. It's just a matter of, um, oh, that's another point. When I'm putting so much effort into keeping my arm in place, like I said, you can't tell by watching, but right now this is like a huge effort for me. What I am playing I notice I'm pressing a lot tighter with my left hand than I need to because I'm, it's kind of like, you know, overflowing or whatever effort from the right hand to the left side. So when I'm playing, it's a lot better than when I started uh, trying to play, but it's still, you know, I do notice I am gripping a little harder with my left hand than I should. And that's mostly because there's so much effort being put into keeping the right arm in place and um, trying to keep things going. Um, trying to think anything else. Oh yeah, when I did get into rehab, that was uh, I guess early December 2019. So I said it was about a month or so after my stroke. <clears throat> I had no movement on my right side at all. So the left side. There was very little movement, but it came back pretty quickly. My right side, almost you know, with no movement initially. After, I don't know, two or three weeks in the rehab place, 
I got a little bit of movement in my thumb. And I'm trying to think. Maybe some slight movement in the index finger as well. And then um, after that, from January, early January uh, 2020 to like February 19th or so 2020, I spent six more weeks in another out, uh, inpatient facility. And there I started getting more movement and whatnot. And when I was in the first rehab place in December, my wife brought like an old like crappy nylon string guitar we had and just put it in my lap to see like, you know, with my thumb even like the little bit it could move if I could pluck the strings or anything that I really wasn't able to do. In fact, at that point, my left hand, since it wasn't doing well either, the recreation therapist in the place, she had recommended, you know, oh, why don't you bring a guitar in? And she would hold it for me and like, just have me try to tune it. At that point, actually, my left hand was so weak that I really couldn't tune it. So um, I started, I guess once I got out of the rehab places in, uh, you know, February 2019, and came home. I periodically would try to play guitar for a few minutes. Very difficult. Um, could barely strum it. And I didn't practice it every day because I figured, oh, well, maybe I should wait until I've got more fine motor stuff. You know, whatever the, um, whatever task the therapist has assigned to me, I figured maybe that'll help me more before I should start playing. But um, starting in, I guess it was June of 2020, my occupational therapist said I should try playing guitar every day because that would help with the muscle memory and stuff. So since June, uh, pretty much every day, as long as I'm feeling well, I've been trying to play, you know, at least 10 minutes a day. Typically a, a playing session will last an hour. However, it's not like I'm playing nonstop for an hour. It's like I've got the guitar on my lap for an hour. I might play for a few minutes then kind of rest my arm, pick up my phone, look at something, go back to kind of playing. Sometimes it's really frustrating because... I know what I want to play and, you know, I can feel like, you know, the, the rhythm I'm supposed to do with my right hand and stuff, but I'm just not able to physically accomplish it. So sometimes it gets kind of frustrating and, you know, kind of like, ah, you know, what the hell, but I know if I, if I don't keep going, then I'm not going to improve. So I know if I don't keep track practicing and trying, I'm never going to get better. Whereas, you know, I can see from month to month, even though it's really slow, I am improving. And um, sometimes I'll distract myself by, you know, working on some chord shapes that I haven't done or, you know, learning a new song and, you know, getting involved with that, that side of the theory things or whatever. Um, and, um, yeah, I said, it's kind of a rambling off the cuff video, but I said, basically this is, you know, my progress a year and a half uh, after uh, having a stroke and, uh, Gonna keep uh, trying, so thank you for watching.